I'm William White Jr. with your evening digital news brief for this Tuesday, May 2nd. This fall, Philadelphia will be burning up for the Jonas Brothers. The band will take the stage in South Philadelphia's The Wells Fargo Center on September 21st for their National Leg of Performances. A total of five albums will be performed during each and every show. Fans have from now until May 6th at 11.59 p.m. to register on Ticketmaster's website for the pre-sale. Those who receive promo codes or access codes from the registration will then be able to purchase their tickets by next Tuesday, May the 9th. Other pre-sales will begin on May 10th by way of City Entertainment and Verizon Up. A woman in Westchester was at a stop sign by waiting to cross when a vehicle slammed into her. Police in Westchester Borough says that one of the two separate crashes involving stolen vehicles happened overnight between yesterday and today. All that took place at West Gay Street and North Darlington Streets before driving into the intersection. Police are still working to find out more about the suspects, and they hope to bring you some more information as the investigation now continues. A Norristown man was fatally shot to death after he broke into an apartment building. A young woman has been on active protection from abuse order against the Norristown man. We're being told that the shooting happened as of yesterday at around 11.50 p.m. on the 300 block of West Moore Street. This homicide is under investigation. Nobody has been arrested. A new beer is going to the dogs. Found Friends Hazy IPA is a brand new brewery from Dock Street Brewing Company that benefits the Philadelphia Animal Welfare Society. For every four pack being sold, a dollar will be donated to support Paul's mission to rescue Philadelphia's most vulnerable pets. Proceeds will help provide medical care along with foster care to dogs and finding them loving and peaceful homes. That's the latest for your evening digital brief. My name is William. You can always get the latest on the stories and more on cbsphiladelphia.com. Have a good night and we'll see you right back here tomorrow for a brand new episode of CBS News Philadelphia.